Here's how to use Spotify. Use the clickable sections below to skip through different parts of this tutorial. We'll show you how to use Spotify on the web player, although the desktop app is nearly identical. The home page will offer you suggestions of playlists, albums and artists for you to listen to based on your interests and recent activity. For example, if you click on Recently Played Songs, you'll go straight to the last tracks you played. To discover new music, click on the search button on the left-hand side. Spotify classifies music into different folders and offers various ready-made playlists to listen to for any occasion. At the top, you'll see the last artist you search for, followed by your favourite genres of music based on your history. Below Browse All, you can find new tracks. For example, in Mood, you'll find playlists recommended based on how you're feeling. Let's say you need some music to start off your week. Click on the Monday Motivation playlist and a list of songs will appear. Click the play button to start listening. Going back to the search menu, you'll see more ways to discover new music. Find a new podcast series here. Check out the latest chart hits or find some live recorded concerts. Made For You will take you to a page filled with customised suggestions. Your library is where you'll find all your music and podcasts. At the top, filter the content by clicking on Playlists, Podcasts, Artists or Albums. On the left-hand side, click on Liked Songs under Playlists. This will launch a playlist of all the songs you've liked. To play any music, double-click a track. If you want to cue a track to play after the current one's finished, hover over the song you want and click on the three dots icon. A drop-down menu will appear. Select Add to Cue. To change the volume of your music, move the volume bar here or click on the speaker icon to mute or unmute. To search for a song or artist, go to the search tool at the top of the page and type either the name of the artist or the song. You'll see search results appear automatically. To play a song, hover over the song and a play icon will appear. Click play. Click on the heart icon if you want to save the song to your liked songs list. To create a new playlist, click on create playlist and a blank one will appear. To name it, click on the automated name My Playlist Number. You can change the name of your playlist and add a description and photo. When you're ready, click Save. Now you can populate your playlist with tracks you like. To add a song, hover over the track you want and select the three dots icon. From the drop-down menu, click Add to Playlist and find the one you want to add it to. You can also add albums to your playlist the same way. To remove a track from your playlist, click on the three dots icon on the track whilst in the playlist and then select Remove from this playlist. Select your playlist from the left hand side and then click the play icon. At the bottom, a playing strip will appear showing the artwork, name and artist of the track that's playing. If you want your playlist to shuffle songs randomly rather than play them in list order, click on the shuffle icon. If you want to add a song to the queue, click on the play and text icon on the far right corner of the play strip. The queue page will appear listing songs in the order that they're coming up next. To add to the queue, click on the three dots icon next to a track and select add to queue. You can skip songs or go back by clicking the arrows on both sides of the play icon. If you have the free version of Spotify, it'll limit the number of times you can skip before ads will play. Select a playlist from the list on the left side of your screen. Click on the three dots icon and a drop-down menu will appear with a series of options. You can share your playlist with others via various platforms such as Skype, Tumblr, Facebook or by using a link. To hide the playlist from the public, select Make a Secret. To delete a playlist, click Delete and a pop-up window will appear 
asking you to either cancel or delete, as this action can't be reversed. Select Delete to complete. You can upload music that isn't on Spotify to your library, so everything's in one place. You'll need to have the Spotify application installed, rather than the web browser. Launch the program and make sure you're logged into your account. Click on Spotify and then Preferences. A pop-up window will appear. Scroll down until you get to the Local Files section and click this button to allow these files to be shown on the Spotify app. On the left-hand side, a Local Files name will now appear. Click on it and you'll see lots of audio files from your computer listed. Now go to your Finder on Mac or My Computer on Windows and find the file you want to add. Copy the file and paste it in your Downloads folder. Back in Spotify, if we scroll down the Local Files list, you'll see it appear at the bottom. Click on the three dots icon on the track and select Add to Playlist and choose one. It'll now be added to your playlist and you'll be able to play it on your desktop. Downloading music allows you to listen to tracks when you're not connected to the internet. You can download songs, albums or playlists from Spotify to listen to offline, as long as they are in your liked songs list or a playlist and you have a premium account. Find the track you want from your playlist. You can use the filter function to help you find a specific one. Then click the download button at the top right side of your list and the song will start downloading. You can also download whole albums or playlists by selecting them and then clicking the same download icon. You can share the tracks you like with others. Hover your cursor on a track or playlist and click on the three dots icon. From the drop-down menu, click Share and then Copy Playlist Link. You can then paste this into an email or message and share. To share a track or playlist on a website, select Copy Embed Code from the drop-down and you'll be able to embed this on your site. Here's what Spotify looks like on the mobile app. Once logged in, you'll be able to see your library, playlists and the songs you've listened to recently. To access your home, search and library pages, tap on the icons at the bottom of the screen. Select a song to play from the search page. You'll see a small play strip appear at the bottom of the screen. Click on this and a full screen play page will appear. Here you'll be able to skip or go back and choose to shuffle your songs. Tap on the three dots icon to see more options. Click here to add a song to one of your playlists and then select the one you want to add it to. To add the song to the queue, click here and it'll play after the current track is finished. To share your songs, click share. It'll give you options of how to do it through different apps on your phone. You can also choose the repeat track and the shuffle songs option from this page. To find your playlist, select your library at the bottom of your screen and make sure the playlist tab is selected at the top. You'll see your playlist listed below and the option to create a new one. To add a new one, click create playlist. Give it a name and then tap create. Spotify will show you recommendations of music to add. Tap the plus icon to add any music you like or use the search bar to find the songs you want to add. Add these to your playlist by tapping the plus icon. To play one of your playlists, tap the play symbol. The song details will appear in your play strip at the bottom. If the playlist is set to shuffle, you'll see a small shuffle symbol on the large green play button. For more options, tap the music artwork from the play strip. To loop the playlist so it keeps repeating, press the circling arrows icon. To loop the track, select the icon again and a small one will appear to confirm that it's been looped. Press this again to go back to the setting with no loop. To manage your queue of songs, 
tap the three dots icon on the top right and then add to cue to play it next. To see the order of songs, tap go to cue and you'll see what's playing, what's next in the cue and the rest. Select a song by using the circle next to it and you can either add to cue or remove from the list. You can also change the order by holding down on a song and dragging it to a different position in the queue. If you have a premium account, you'll be able to select the download function here so you can listen to your track offline.